Hey everyone, Lo13 Scale here, but please just call me Stairs. I wanted to come in and tell you a few things before we get started. The first one being that this did air originally on Twitch on this date, and I will have a link in the description below for my Twitch if you want to catch this as it happens. But these other things that I'm going to mention are best to mention for viewer, hap not so much happiness, but like accessibility sake. Um, the first one being that there is going to be a constant buzzing. I have done everything that I can to make sure that this buzzing goes away and it's it's still here. It's something that happens because I'm using this originally in AV and I'm translating it to an HDMI using an upscaler so that this way it records. The problem is no matter how many different upscalers I've tried or how many different resolutions I've tried, this buzzing is still consistent. And I think it's because there was originally buzzing with the old TVs and that kind of stuff. There's just nothing that I can do. So I'm really sorry, and if this is something that's not safe for you, then please, or too much, please take, you know, take some steps back. Don't, don't subject yourself more to anything that's going to put you over your edge. Uh, the second thing that I'm going to mention is that there are going to be some moments of bad frames. There's nothing I can do about it. It's an old recording. I'm really sorry. Um, just kind of bear with me on that one. The next thing is that this is an old PlayStation 1 game, so there's no closed captioning. Trust me, I checked. I love using closed captioning personally for my own reasons, and it's just not something that's possible in this game. And the fourth and most important one is that this game here does use flashing lights that are not going to be safe for some viewers. So what I've instead decided to do, rather than just edit them out in case it ruins some of the, the viewer experience for you, is I'm going to have a little warning sign pop up right here that'll look like this. And also, when, and I'm not gonna flash lights, don't worry. And when it's safe for you to view again, I'm gonna play this tone, just so that this way you know it's safe to look back. So if you like see that and you wanna look away until you hear the safe tone, so this way you don't have any negative side effects with that, then by all means, that's why I've set this all up, but I just wanted to let you know that that's going to be happening. And it's just something that they thought was cool game design at the time. Um, and it's not something that I'm doing, it's part of the game. So I'm just trying to lay the groundwork to make it as accessible for all of you guys as I can. So enough of the, the big stuff, let's just get into the video. I'm opening the door. Oh, that's so I can sneak by, I see. I see, I see. Well, that's one more down. So that's one more tent down. Yeah, the rest of them are probably gonna be up there, and I'm not gonna wanna have to deal with that. Come on, let me land on it. And there should be... Oh, we have another shrew over here. Which I guess is good. Um... Okay, that's six shorts. I need ten. I need ten shorts to be gotten. So, sorry, Shrew. Need your stuff, man. Great for the aha on you, man. Let me get this other pair here, and then I'll go back and try again at super point blank range to get the last one. That was like over on the side here. Come on, let me hit it. Yeah, it's just not functioning. Can I... No matter how I hit it, it's just not gonna go. Alright then. Well, let's see if we can go sneak on over first. If I can sneak on in there... Because 
I should be able to, since that's what this is for. Be a good place to dress up. Yeah, I have, I have an outfit, don't I? Get off me, kid. Can't I just shoot the kid? Come on. Yeah. Cry about it. And what, if I hit you a bunch, can I get in? So I have to dress up as one? What happens if I shoot you a bunch? You cry and then go home? Eh, let me... You'd think that this would be easier to aim with the stick. It is not. I'm willing to waste all my eggs just to try to shoot this kid. Alright, I give up on trying to shoot the kid. But the intention is there. Oh, that's where the floating present is. So, probably in order to get the disguise, I am going to have to jump all the way up there. And I'm not going to want to do that. I'm not. But I'll end up sitting down and doing it at some point. That I'm sure. And once I get across the bridge, I should be able to do all of the rest of the things. Wait, this is a different texture than everything else. I can just climb it. That makes a lot more sense. That, that makes more sense. Yes. Let's just go back to the gun, because that'll make my life a little easier, I'm sure. So that's probably the mayor's house where I'll have to hook his bed up to the boat. Which is fine. I just don't know how to get that one pair of pants to actually acknowledge that it's been gotten. What are you? I know, you're a I'll mess with you if you get too close kind of thing. Let me, let me shoot it down. There we go. Does that mean that you're gonna leave me alone now and I can do what I would like? Cool, great, thanks. Glad that took nothing from me to do that. Did I just have to run up to that one? Like what? Yeah. Some of these I do have to actually jump on and others of them it's like, yeah, no, just run up. There we go. So that's eight of the tents down. Probably gonna have to weasel my way across somehow. But let's see what's over there because I can. More tents. Another blueprint. Alright, well can I just jump across on this thing? No. Well, on the bright side I'm next to the shrew again. So this way I can take all those bristles and put them in the shorts. We'll go and try that, see if we can at least finish the tents and most of the shorts. <laughs> Come on, man. Also, your friendly reminder for your water break, if you haven't had it. 
Oh, I should put those in first. And then go back and do it. Okay, that's eight. It's nine, and that means that that last one's that pair of pants I can't seem to manage to hit properly for some reason. Let me, let me get on the, the wire here, guys. Nope, still not quite. Hey, I'm across finally. Or, well, I'm on the thing. You know, I'm sure that back in 2000, this looked beautiful as scenery. Because you do have, like, a lot of gradients of colors going in the distance, which is great. It still doesn't quite hold the candle by today's comparison. It's hard to believe, though, like, when you think about it, especially when you think on your history with a certain, like, game or movie, how far, like, game development as well as, like, CGI have come in, like, 20 years. Because, like, this was, this was peak level game design 20 years ago. Like, and, and background design and how pretty this this looked back then. And then by comparison to today's standards, you have things like Ghost of Tsushima and you've got the the new Horizon Zero Dawn that's gonna be coming out. I I wanna get that present, but I feel like I'll fall off the platform if I don't just shoot it. I'll have to shoot it with the thistle, but I can get more thistles easily. Can I just shoot the other tents, or do I have to to butt bounce them? It's nine tents. Where's the last tent? Is it up there by the mayor's private whatever? Because I wouldn't be shocked by that answer. I got no way of getting that. Well, let's see. Oh, the tent's probably up there. Can I even push this properly? Eh, let, me, let me look, man. Thanks, I hated that. I hated the polygons just breaking there. So are you guys gonna let me destroy the rest of the... the shorts, please? Up, up, and away! Thank you. Alright, marine mobile. And the tents are down. Yeah, great. <laughs> that was so painfully weird in ways that even like don't get me wrong, I am weird. I am plenty weird. That is weird even by my scale. I forgot I wasn't dealing with the uh The what's it called? The slime thing. Alright, I'm gonna... No. I can't gather up more thistle while I currently have thistle. Well. Did they just forget to make this interactable? Can I just not finish this mission? Because they, mis they mixed up and they can't. Give it one more go. I'll try it from the back side and just see what happens. Maybe they accidentally mixed up the uh, the hitbox or something. You know, accidentally put the hitbox on the flip side. No. No. I'm. Yeah, great. 
I have no idea what was with the hitbox on that, but I'm glad that we managed to get it. Okay. So, warning for the flashing lights. Alright. So, drilling holes in canoes. I don't know where any of the canoes are. They're probably going to be on the other side of that, um... On the other side of that bridge. Modifying the marine mobile. I have to finish getting all of the parts for that first. Hooking the mayor's bed up to the motorboat, which is probably going to involve swinging around on that thing. But I'm going to need other materials before I can do that. And then squashing all the gifts. Uh, for this one, I just have to finish the fireworks. And then we'll be done. So we've got five total missions left to do. That's not bad. Thanks everyone so much for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you like what you saw here today. And don't forget to hit that little notification bell so that this way you get a notification as soon as I upload anything new. And also, don't forget to go check me out over on Twitch if you want to see things as they happen. Have a good day everyone.